How you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at the new version of uh, Blackmagic's um, hard drive speed test. Um, this is popular with uh, a couple different types of people. Um, one, people who actually do videotography with DaVinci Resolve or even, even other uh, video editing programs and people who review um, um, computers for speed testing they use it as a benchmark as well um, and we're going to compare the two versions now the new version uh, which is 1.4 is on the left and then the old version is on the right and uh, in fact let me uh, I don't know if I can do it on this one to see what version that is but it's old, the, the newest older version I guess you could say and uh, we're going to kind of compare the two um, now there are some big differences between the new and old version. The new version actually also uses the GPU for encoding uh, as, as far as converting and you can see this down here and the, uh, among the various tests it has the CPU and it says metal which is obviously the GPU and so it uses uh, uh, depending on how many GPUs in, you have in your system and it does work with both of my GPUs in the system at the same time and it does support um, Metal, OpenGL, and CUDA. Now, of course, with OpenGL, it's, it's going to be stopped being supported by Apple. So ev eventually, we'll probably see that go away once it gets depreciated and stops working in newer versions of operating systems. And um, I do see a couple of big problems with the new version over the old version. And for one thing, you can't select which hard drive test you can do this on and now traditionally if, uh, for vi videographers they don't use the same hard drive um, as the operating system uh, usually they all have a second uh, secondary hard drive scratch disk they put all their video files on and that's because if you use the same as the uh, one that has the operating system on it will s slow performance down because often the operating system will have to access itself on the that hard drive so that will slow down performance and as you can see here the old version you can actually select what uh, here it says select target disk and where you can use it from and the uh, new version 1.4 I don't see that in there so I don't know where it defaults to the system drive or uh, if it automatically t detects the new one or uh, so that's going to be very confusing um, I wish they would put that in there and uh, secondary is this only supports um, the uh, Blackmagic RAW as you can see the old version it doesn't have um, or the older version of course it doesn't support seem to support the Blackmagic RAW but before you could do ProRes, um, of course, uh, Blackmagic's older version is Cinema DNG RAW, and then um, just RAW video files. Uh, another problem I could see uh, using this is people who use this as a benchmark for testing dis different um, computer systems, as since it does utilize the GPU, if that's going to throw off any hard drive speed tests or uh, I don't know if people are going to be testing this in the future to see if it makes any difference um, and here also of course you can see here on the left that where once the speed test is done it'll tell you if your hard drive uh, how how far your hard drive is supported up to as far as you know um, the resolution and Compression ratio. I think compression ratio is the biggest difference between the um, Blackmagic RAW tests here, and you can uh, switch that up as well if you want a specific resolution and um, compression ratio for the uh, Blackmagic RAW. Um, you have that as well. So there it is. Those are some of the uh, differences between the new and old versions, and um, unfortunately. The new version 4.1 is only supported on Mac right now. Um, hopefully we're going to see that for at least Windows uh, and then maybe Linux. So um, hopefully we should see that here in the near future for Windows. Uh, I just wanted to add that. 
Well, besides that, uh, thanks you guys for watching and see you guys later.